Hello everybody, this is Neanderthal Gaming and welcome back to Hearthstone. Today we're going to rematch Ren Blackhand in the Black Rock Spire and hopefully take him down. Uh, last time uh, we just got outplayed, we weren't drawing the right stuff and uh, ran out of cards pretty quickly actually. So I think I'm going to stick with the same deck. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try my Priest deck. Let's try that. I think this deck is pretty good. Um, I would say I only have, uh, I don't have the good legendaries, you know, that people use to climb the, the ladder of the ranking and stuff like that. But, you know, I have Ysera. Uh I'm kind of, oh, there's Ysera, speaking of her. Um, excuse me, um, I'm, I'm kind of torn uh, oh, I bought some harvest golems too. Um, but uh, uh, excuse me. I'm kind of regretting buying Ysera and not buy well making um, and not making Ragnaros because Ragnaros seems to be I don't know. Ysera is usually too slow for me, if you know what I mean. Like uh, if you're in a pinch. Uh, if you're down a lot and there's a big minion out and you play Sarah, I mean, unless you somehow give it a taunt, you're kind of screwed no matter what because it can't take anything down unless you get really lucky. Uh, and, and if you're down really low health and there's a bunch of minions and you get Isera Awakens, you can take out all the minions, but then you kill yourself. So, you know, it's not always the best thing. All right, so here I think we Harvest Golem... Yeah, and start uh, chipping away at these one ones. So yeah, I, I, I'm kind of well. It's too late now, but I'm kind of regretting making Ysera, Uh and not Ragnaros. That will probably be the next legendary that I craft. Uh, and once I am done with, uh, oh, well, you know that doesn't really do me any good now. I'm not gonna play. I made one of these, by the way, too. So I think I made. I think with the uh, dust I, crea I created by disenchanting those Dormu, I think I got enough for a Knife Juggler, a Harvest Golem, a MC Tech, uh, and a Defender of Argus. I think that was it. I think I have some left over. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't want to play him now because I'll, I will get a 1-1, which sucks. So let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's actually like that heal. Get a free kill on one of these guys. All right, and uh, yeah, let's just start chipping away. And uh, we might as well. Hmm, who do we want to give health to? Or do we want to save that? I'm not sure if we want to do anything else. Yeah, it's just, it's just more one ones coming. So let's. Oh, well, next turn is. I don't really have anything to do next turn either. And I'm probably gonna draw five of a lot of five cards. So let's let's do it now. Let's uh let's give it to you. Ah, it would have been a six. Okay. Well now hopefully let's let's draw five next turn. Okay, now you start attacking my harvest goal? Why did you only send one? Awfully strange. Ah, it's an eight. Okay, never mind then. Let's. Uh, does that. Uh, does that count as dealing damage, I wonder? Hmm. Let's find out. It does not count as dealing damage. Fantastic. Alright, now. Might as well heal the Harvest Golem and get a free attack here. Alright. Um, no, no point interfering right now because we're just going to be attacking these one cost guys. So let's just keep attacking these one cost guys. What's next from him? A 3 1. That's no big deal. Alright. No big deal at all.
Hmm. We got a 4-4. Four, four that I could take out with the inner fire. I'm tempted to play Thorson just because I have two legendaries in my hand. Uh, and when you get those for cheap, it becomes very nice. Um... However, Goldshire Cleric is the perfect uh, foil for a Dragon King. And I also want to get rid of this Asher Drake because I'm already on 18 health. So, I think we do this. No. We do this. This. Don't hit the Drake. Not what I wanted, but okay. Um, Cause now I'm gonna inner fire you, and that one damage was a big waste. And then we hit, and we hit. Yeah, that's fine. All right. I wield the power. Uh. Hmm, I think we holy fire the corruptor, and that's all we can do. And we kill the 3 1. Yep, that looks good. Get a two and out of it. All right, that's that's okay. Here comes another corruptor. No. Ah, very nice. Okay. Well, we could. Do a lot of things here. We could take the dragon egg and then double its health, or we could take the dragon egg and double the cabal shadow priest health. We could take the egg and heal ourselves. We could Thorison and heal ourselves and kill the egg, but so in a whelp. I want to steal the egg though. That's Let for me sure. Your mind. Let's do that. And let's double your health. Alright. And then there's no point. Now there is a point attacking him because then the, the priest is deadly. So let's do that. He did good, Harvest Golem. He did good. Ah. Not good. Oof. Okay. How does this sound? We kill off. <laughs> we kill off one of the whelps and then we MC tech and hopefully uh, get one of these two. Hmm. I think we have to. Or we could just kill this guy. Yeah, that's too risky. 50-50 is not worth it. Let's let's kill this guy. Obey. And Isera or Kalfazad is the question. Or Thorson and Shade. I think we should Thorson and Shade. Or we get Thorson and MC Tech. Thorson and MC Tech hopefully gets Drake. Come on, give me the Drake. Give me the Drake. Give me the Drake. Me the Drake. Yes! Ha ha ha! That is a 25% chance. That is fantastic. You did challenge the daughter of awesome. That is awesome. Look at all those whelps, though. They're all called whelps. They're all dragons, and they have different art. How cool. All right. Now we're in business here, because now, now we can Kel'Thuzad when we have board. Boom. Alright, so let's just toss these guys in. No. 
You? Don't worry, you're coming back. And... Let's just, uh... I guess you. And let's just kill some of these little guys. Alright, and we get them back. And now we have a seven cost Ysera. <laughs> Oh, and that Drake is actually uh, only one health now. That's okay. That's okay. He comes back to life every turn anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna kill Kelsazad. Ah, uh, that's fine. I got a good use out of him. Oh, and you. Ca oh, dang it. That was actually pretty good. That was really good. That's the only time when these cards are good. After. Uh, ooh. <laughs> After a, a big Anixia play like that. Uh, let's save the mind control. I don't want to mind control any of these guys. They're pretty bad. So let's... Uh, Acera and Akana. And let's... Oh, we can't kill this guy this turn. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Well, let's let's do this. Let's unstealth our shade. Just so the one ones can't kill our Drake. Um... Let's just hit him in the face. Hopefully she goes for the Drake, and then we can just, I don't know, do something. Oh, okay. That was weird. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That was well played. Well played. Revenge. Deal two damage. Oh, he had that dang Azure Drake. Wow. That was good. Um, I'm still not going to take control of that Azure Drake, though. Let's kill it. Heals. And... I think we let the whelps hit us. Let's just go for face. Do 7, 9, 13 damage. Whatever he plays, we have... We have complete and utter, oh yeah, complete and utter, uh, oh, that's annoying. Uh, we have complete and utter uh, removal here. We will be taking that, by the way. Won't even have to think twice. You are my Draconoid Crusher. Thank you. Let's say thanks. I always say thanks Thank before I mind control. And then, uh, we need to start healing next turn. Oh, we could do eight damage, though. Uh, do we want to kill that little guy? I think we do. I think we do, simply feet. because I'm scared of what he has next. We need to play it safe, um, because we have lethal next turn. Actually, what am I talking about? We have nightmare. All right, here comes this free dragon. No? All right, I think we got it. We have won. We have won. No, it's not free. It's two less. Okay. All right. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Use his own minion to kill it. Ooh. All right. That took a long time. Wow. 14 minutes. Exactly. All right, so that is the Black Rock Spire down, and the cards that we got, if I can remember correctly, let's go check them out. Um, let's just do a quick scroll here. No. Uh, no. One of those you just saw was from the class challenges. Core Rager, that was from the first one, so this is... Um, a rare. That's what the blue is called. Rare. Battle cry if your hand is empty. Gain plus 3-3. Three, three. Uh, that's pretty good, but again, empty hand, that's kind of... Meh. Meh. Whatever. Same same thing as the quick shot. Meh. I don't really like it. Uh, what else? What else? Ah, yes. Dragon Consort. 
This will be used to make Paladin Dragon decks everywhere, uh, I, including myself. Once all of the Dragon cards have come out, as in once, uh, once the final wing is open and I've beaten it, I will definitely be making a Dragon deck. Uh, everybody wants someone to snuggle with. Even giant armor, scaly, draconic, beast of destruction. That is a very good card. That is a very good card. So that is that's what we got from I think the second one, and from the third one we got the oh no that's from the other class challenge. What other card did we get? Hmm. Trying to remember. I know there's a legendary at the end, but what did I get for beating the third boss other than the legendary? Ah, Dragon Egg. I believe it was Dragon Egg. So I got Dragon Egg, uh, which you already saw is a uh, rare. Whenever this minion takes damage, summon a 2 whelp. So you could essentially get two 2 one whelps. That's good. That's a good card for warriors and mages. And then, of course, we got Rend Blackhand. Probably the worst legendary I have. <laughs> um, if you're holding a dragon, so if you're holding a dragon... And you play a seven mana guy, you get to destroy a legendary minion. So that's pretty good. But he only has four health, which is, which sucks. Uh, Ren believes he is the true war chief of the horde and keeps editing the Wikipedia page for, for war chief of the horde to include his picture. That's hilarious. Um, yeah. So I don't think I'll ever be using him. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I might throw him in a dragon deck, but again, that's a big if, and that's a really bad health. So. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but that is it for those cards. So I will show you the cards from the class challenges after we do the class challenges. So let's go do those. Uh, class challenge. And we have the priest. Uh, rematch. Can you defeat the boss? Yes. So we're going against General Dracosath again. And uh, the, the deck that they give me is pretty much the same idea as the... One I had originally, uh, except of course the one they give me has a lot more legendaries, which is very nice. So it's actually easier to beat this guy with this deck than the one I used, uh, being the one with all of the huge, the huge minions and the big spells and stuff. So yeah, look at that first starting hand: uh, Mechanier, Thermoplug, Doctor Boom, and Gruel. That is pretty fantastic. I think we definitely Gruel first turn, uh, just because. He's going to get pretty big pretty quickly. Um, probably then Dr. Boom and then probably Mechanier Thermal Plug. And we have a Resurrect. So, boom. Gruel turn one. It's not something you see every day. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, Gruel's already at 9-9. Nine, nine. Um, oh. Wow. Well, we have that just in case something bad happens. Uh, all right, let's let's go face here. Let's uh, let's play Doctor Boom. Or should we play Mech Genie Thermal Plug? Uh, let's Thermal Plug. That's a lot of damage. Now I'm torn between hitting him in the face and hitting Trogzor because I kind of want Gruel to stay. Um, yeah. Yeah, why would I even think about hitting Trogzor? He's got no buffs, right? He's got the same kind of deck I do. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? Oh, you're gonna hit you're gonna hit Gruel with your weapon? <laughs> okay. Uh take another ten damage from him. That's fine with me. Um that's not a very good card. Uh right, let's play Dr. Boom. And do eleven damage. Pretty good control already. Okay. Just did four. You just did six damage to yourself. Who are you gonna kill? Choice. Good choice. Still have Doctor Boom. Um. <laughs> let's see who we get. <laughs> Oh man, I had a big chance to get like a leper gnome or a bomb there, but that is actually very lucky. Yeah, boom bot. Yeah, this was uh, <laughs> this is over pretty quickly. He hasn't done a single damage to me, and he's already down to six. 
Oh no, twisting down. You don't see that card every day. I'm lagging. Oh! <laughs> I can almost kill him with that. Alright, let's just do this, because I've never played Deathwing before. Just because I can. Oh no, I <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Let's see who we get. Give me a bomb. Ah, there it is. <laughs> bye bye. That was easy. Alright, first class challenge down. And I think for that one we got the Twilight Whelp, which is a 1 2 dragon, I think. Oh no, it's a 2 1 dragon. Uh, for one mana, but if you're holding a dragon, it becomes a 2-3, so that's 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 pretty good. Uh, if you ever play a priest dragon deck, that will be in use for sure. But uh, again, I think the paladin dragon deck is going to be become more... Uh, I don't know, more used, I guess. More common, just because of that dragon consort is so good. All right, so Ren Blackhand, we're facing him again, this time with a Druid deck created by the Hearthstone Gods, whoever those might be. And I forgot what this Druid deck... Oh, I do remember. Okay, yes. Uh, I do remember the reward card for this guy, and I remember how I beat him the first time. It was actually very spectacular, thanks to this card right here. This is the reward card, in fact, for beating Ren Blackhand again. This is the Volcanic Lumberer. Uh, and as you can see, it costs one less for each minion that died this turn. And there will be some combo wombos, as Trump says, in this game. Uh, I'm going to keep that Volcanic Lumber simply because I know what happens later on. Um, basically, when he plays a Nixia, as he always does... Um, all those whelps die, and then uh, what happened in the first in the first game I played against this guy? Uh, he had a Nixia, and I had uh, that one Druid card that uh, you can either give a minion plus five five or summon five Wisps. I actually chose the Wisps uh, for once, just because uh, just because of that situation. So I chose the Wisps, uh, and then he played a Nixia. Actually, that's what happened. And then I killed all of his dragon whelps with my wisps. And so there were like 10 dead minions on the board. And I had three volcanic lumbers. And as you see, it costs one less for each minion that died this turn. I played three seven eight taunts for free. Plus uh, another one of those dragons that gets played uh, cheaper if there's lots of dead minions this turn. Uh, so yeah, Anixia will be played a lot more often, I think, simply because of these these new cards with the, that new kind of power that costs one less card. Um, definitely kill that. And let's see. Job done. That's me. Oh, oh, I, I, there you go. Okay. We're gonna save you. Let's play another spider. Yeah, that, that sounds good to me. Alright, what's next for him? Another open the gate. Wow, okay. Fine with me. If I manage to kill a lot of those guys in one turn, I can play this volcanic lumber pretty early. Thanks for killing my spider. Um. Uh, I am very close to playing this uh, Volcanic Lumber for three mana, actually. Let's let's see how close we can get. You know, one. Actually, no. This guy's not going to die. Out of the time. So now, see, they only cost five, and they're about to only cost four. Let's see. If I use two mana, will each cost three. So that's not, that's not smart. Um... Hmm. If I use my power, I'm down to three. 
and I kill a whelp for free, and yeah. Yeah, that's. And then these guys cost three. Okay, yeah. So we'll do that. Get rid of one. another one of these guys. And boom. Thanks for playing your whelps. I just have a feeling that this card will only be useful against this guy in this uh, in Solo Avenger because nobody's ever going to have this many minions out at one time. Alright. Now they cost seven. Ah. What do we want to do here? Yeah, let's do that. Now they cost six. And let's play another one. Alright. Try getting through those, Rend. Okay, dude. What shall we do? Ooh, that is nice. Alright, we can do a lot of damage to him right here. Or my shield get Argus. Kill. Corruptor. And then actually I could have Savage Roar, that would have been better. <laughs> Whoops. Oh well. Um I do not mind taking that 2 damage, simply because now I can do 7 damage. Just like that. Uh oh. Big dragon. Scary. I'm gonna kill it with the defender of Argus. <laughs> no big deal. Oh, two savage roars. Wow. Well... Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. You're gone. And then let's do you. And you. And let's do ten more. <laughs> ah, we could kill this guy. Just in case he can activate it. Sometime later. Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Oh, well. He might kill one of my oozes. Big deal. That's another <laughs> I think we got this locked up, however. Oh, he's just trying to kill my lumberer. Who I can now play for free. Not for free, but you know what I mean. I don't have to sack a bunch of guys in. This is the other card I was talking about. Uh, Volcanic Drake will be used in those dragon decks. It costs one less for each mini that died this turn. And it's a 6-4. I mean, a 6-4 for 6 is already pretty good. Um, but if it costs less for one, like, watch this. Um... You're gone. You're gone. Let's see. Uh, what do I want to do here? Do I want a Savage Roar? That means he would cost two. And he would cost five. So I'm not going to play him. Let's... Oh, what am I talking about? Do I have lethal? I think I have lethal. I do. What am I talking about? <laughs> I always forget about that. I always forget. I, I, that's just the problem I have a lot, especially in ranks. Uh, when I play ranks, I always forget to calculate if I have lethal or not. And then I play something try to get rid of all the minions out of them. But, uh, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and I and I realized after I, try, I tried killing all his minions and lose that I could have killed him last turn. That's, a, that's just a problem I have to... Get over, you know. All right, so the cards I got from that, I will show you actually instead of just talking about them. Uh, they are a priest card, Twilight Wealth, uh, two one. But if you're holding a dragon, you gain plus two health, one drop. It's very very good for priest dragon decks, which I don't think will be happening. And then all of uh, which class was it? Crap. Um. Ah, Druid. That's not Druid. This is Druid. 
Uh, we got ourselves two volcanic lumberers. Taunt. Cost one less for each minion that died this turn. And uh, this is a very good card. Uh, the extra, uh, the extra mana, does not intimidate me uh, from replacing uh, Iron Barks, just because it costs one less. I mean, how often do you not kill something in a turn? I mean, even if you kill one thing less, this guy costs. Or one, if you even if you kill one minion during your turn. Um, this guy becomes the same cost as that. And then, of course, you can say, well, he's got one less attack. But let's be honest, 7 and 8 attack, that's not that big of a difference. If it was like 5, 8 or like, you know, a 6, 8 even, then it might be different. But I'm telling you right now, I have replaced both of my Iron Bark Lumbers. Uh, or I, I've, I've replaced... I've... <laughs> blah, 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 I've replaced both of my Iron Bark Protectors with Volcanic Lumbers because of that whole combo thing. If you have a couple spiders or if they have a couple spiders and you you know savage roar a bunch of stuff into stuff or maybe poison seeds that's what that's something i have maybe if i poison seeds a whole board i can maybe play this guy for free or you know really cheap or something i also have a violet teacher in this deck which just gives me a bunch of one ones which is good you know it, it just makes sense this guy you do have to do a little bit of work and that's kind of the theme of all these new cards in in uh Black Rock Mountain. You have to do a little bit of work uh, to get them, but once you do that little bit of work, they become better than the original. Which I'm assuming, you know, you know, this isn't just you know some new card. And let's be honest, this is a direct rival of the Iron Bark Protector. They're both. Uh, I don't know if you want to call them ants or tree ants. Uh, I play, I play a game called Castle Clash where they're called tree ants, and I've heard them called that in other games. I'm not sure what they are in WoW. Um, big tree guys you know but i've also watched all of the rings where they're called ants so i guess i called it an ant um they're both ants one's on fire one's not yeah they both have eight health and they're both taunts so i guess yeah they're they're very comparable so uh i'm just letting you know that i have put them in my deck instead of the iron marks so that will be it for the black rock spire thank you guys for watching uh, and i will see you when the lair comes out see you next time